You're currently on tour for the North American release of Star of Love. How has the reception been so far? Uh, it's been really, really good. Um, we've been in uh, Philadelphia, Washington DC, and then the last couple of nights in New York. And it's all been really good, sold out, or nearly sold out, and really good crowds. But yeah, so like, it's the first time we've done a pop tour. Like, so. It's your first North American one, right? Yeah, yeah. We do, we sort of dabbled around a couple of months ago, but um, this is driving. Uh, your live shows have changed quite a bit since your early days, and uh, you started doing North American uh, tours now. Has anything changed in your uh, North American lineup? Uh, a little bit. We, we, we're playing for a full album now, which, is, which we haven't done for a while. And yeah, I suppose the, the set does evolve a little bit as um, as we go along, and because it's all quite electronic, sort of loop based, we have the freedom to like do a bit, a bit of that. Is there more emphasis now on the on the drummer because you've added a live drummer? Yeah, he's great, uh, Andrea, our drummer. Don't often get to talk about him in interviews, but uh, he, he's amazing and you know brings a sort of solidity and consistency to our thing. And you know there were live drums on the album, so we thought it would be good to use it live as well. So how would you describe your music in five words? Yeah. Oh, um, Basque influenced. Uh, Folk, electronic, dance. Is that five? Where did the idea for the cover for Star of Love come from? Uh, it's a sort of mixture of influences that we've found. Um, some paintings and some drawings from Laura's grandfather's writing, which was uh, the main reason that we sort of started the band. And uh, yeah, like. Just general Basque mythology, you know, older mythology, sort of ways that, and a lot of there's a lot of Basque dance, and um, those two figures that with the mask are kind of figures from um, like a festival of, of, of dance. Okay, so they don't represent anyone from the band. Oh, and also that, yeah. <laughs> Which one are you? I'll probably be the huddled wreck in the corner. So you've performed at the Glastonbury and Leeds and other major yeah, festivals yeah. in Europe. What's your best tour memory so far? Glastonbury is always one I'd, I'd talk about and it, it was really good uh, last year. And it's, it's an amazing festival. I, I haven't been to any American festivals, but I imagine it's sort of similar in size to those, because people say it's a big idea. But um, yeah, and just uh, there's well, a couple of good ones in Poland we did last year. And, Germany, South Side Festival. Yeah, it's amazing now. There's so many good places to go and play like around the world. So it's Alright, and what's your worst tour memory? Ooh, this journey here was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sleep in a bus full of men. Um, <laughs> quite difficult. So, what's the next album going to be like? Um, it's gonna be yeah. It's gonna be interesting. We're sort of doing it at the moment, and yeah, uh, we use we're using a lot of chalaparta, the um, the Basque instrument, the uh, wood that we have on stage. Uh, we're using that quite a lot, and sort of trying to s start with like really rhythmically strong things, and, but also writing songs on the other side. So yeah, just trying to trying to mix the you know a strong base of the foundation of rhythm with this new song so, yeah. so it's going to be interesting we really don't know what it's going to sound like either at the moment do you, uh, do you have any songs written yet? yeah we've written about yeah quite a handful maybe ten or something but we're, we're writing more and sort of honing it all down at the moment is, uh, is it going to be a worldwide release for some time soon, or is it going to uh, yeah yeah it's going to be uh, yeah not <laughs> not doing the staggered start again do you know when you're expecting to release it? It should be at the beginning of next year, 2013. Okay. We hope. Outside of music, where do you get your inspiration from? Um, of course, yeah. Art and history, definitely a lot, and all old cultures, you know, slightly forgotten about cultures, possibly, and uh, particularly the Basque culture, but. Um, as we go on more and more, you know, I'm reading quite a lot of non-fiction books and things like that. And also, you know, words, languages, other languages, things like that.
And what about the inspiration for your music videos? Um, I suppose the same again, folklore, um, that's quite a lot. Uh, some, yeah, I, I, yeah, just visually, we like to meet all the directors and discuss with them their vision and try and make all the videos somehow have some consistency. So you have a lot of input in the music videos? Uh, it's sometimes more than others, but yeah, we like to, yeah. What did you do before becoming a full-time musician? Uh, I sort of was a yeah hobby musician. I sort of did a bit of yeah fooling around computer sort of art, I suppose, and videos and stuff like that. Where does the name Crystal Fighters come from? Uh, that comes from uh, Laura, Laura's grandfather. It's sort of mentioned it in in the uh, in the, the mem memoirs or I suppose diary he was writing. It was just something that stuck with us. Do you have any musical guilty pleasures? <laughs> Love this question. Uh, yeah. Oh, Justin Bieber, yeah. I don't mind the beat for his new one, actually. So, yeah, probably Justin Bieber. Uh, anything you'd like to say to your fans? Uh, hello. Um, come see us.